Hey guys, so my mom got a call from a bill collector, I'm assuming it's a bill collector, saying I have charges against me. 1.15 p.m. This information is intended for John Sawyer, claim number A184215. This is Carmen Vega contacting you regarding an order that was submitted to my office this morning. I need to verify an address to present you with your formal claim at your residence and your place of employment. John Sawyer, you have charges and a claim against you. At this point, you have one opportunity to contact the firm handling your claim to discuss this matter. They can be reached at 844-386-1177. Your claim number listed on this order is A184215. John Sawyer, you have officially been notified. So we're going to give them a call and see what's going on. Um, yes, I need to let you know that this phone call is being recorded for quality assurance purposes. Um, I'm calling in reference to uh, A1. A one I do not give you permission to record the call. I can, however, assist you. Can I have the claim number? Well, I'm going to record the phone call. I'm letting you know it's being recorded. Um, so I need to... Reference, sir. Um, it's A184215. My name is John Sawyer. Have you been presented with any documents at this point, Mr. Sawyer? Uh, no. Give me one moment. I'll grab your file. Yes. It does look like we are handling a claim and some charges against you. Before I can release charges for what? Okay. Before I can release any details of the claim, I do need to assure we have the responsible party. The last four digits of your social security number is seven eight three five. Correct. I will not confirm nor deny that. I just want to know what the charges are for. Okay. Well, sir, anyone can contact us stating that they're you. For your safety and security purposes, we're not able to release any details of your charges without you verifying that the last four of your social is 7835. So are you a, a law enforcement agency? You are contacting a pre-litigation firm. Um, and what are you litigating? Okay, sir. I can't answer any questions for you in regards to the charges we're handling in our office without you verifying that you're the responsible party. I am the responsible party. And the last four of your social is 7835. Correct. I'm sorry, that was correct? Yes. This is going back to date May 2012, when you entered into an agreement with Canyon Creek, LLC, in which we have assumed rightful ownership of cause of action. I want to process repayment through, the, through your... So are you, a, are you a law enforcement agency is my question. So how are you pressing charges against me? Uh, sir, I... To you, you are contacting a pre litigation firm. We are handling the claim and charges that are against you. Okay, so what are the charges that are against me? The charges are inducing breach of a contract. And how is that? How, what law have I broken? What, what civil or criminal infraction is that? You enter into an online payday loan agreement with Canyon Creek LLC. When they want to process repayment through your five-county bank account, 
escrow terms of your contract, they were unsuccessful. Okay, so yep. what? that still isn't answering the question. What criminal or civil infraction of the law is that? You are being pursued for inducing breach of a contract. Okay, once again, I'm going to ask you a very specific question, and it requires a very specific answer. What statute of law am I in violation of which is requiring you to be serving me with quote unquote charges as you told my mother and my brother? Okay, Mr. Sawyer, we do not make any outbound calls here. If someone is contacting you, that would be a private letter. How did I get this number? I'm trying I didn't get this number off thin air. Somebody called my mother with this number and said that there were charges pending. I'm and even you have said three times on this phone call that charges were pending. So I'm asking you specifically what statute of law that I have broken to require you to file charges and what charge am I facing? Do you want me to answer your question? You haven't answered it. You're speaking over me, sir, so there's no way I can answer your question. So answer the question. What charge am I facing? Okay, one question at a time, sir. That's the only question I've asked. Sir, you asked how did you get our number. I'm trying to explain that that would be a private locator. Their job is to locate you and present you with documents addressing the charges that we're handling in our office. And again, the charges are inducing breach of a contract. What statute of law is that? There's a statute number to every statute of law. What statute number is that? Because I would like to look that up. Okay, Mrs. Sawyer, is there anything else I can assist you with? I'm asking you a very specific question. You can't answer the question. You are saying, you're pretty much saying that I'm going to be charged with a crime. I want to know what the statute of that crime is so that I can look it up. You're speaking over me, sir. This is the processing department, which means this is the step before court. So, no, I don't have a statute number for you, sir. So, in other words, you can't charge me with a crime because there's no statute of law that I've broken, correct? Yes, sir. The charges again. See, you're the one that's saying charges. Because charges imply that I've broken a law. What is the statute of law that I've broken? Okay, Mr. Sawyer, I've been on the phone with you six minutes trying to explain the charges to you. The only thing I can... I'm asking for a very specific answer. What's the statute number of the law that I have broken? Okay, sorry. The only thing I can suggest, wait for the private locator to contact you back. You can receive your documents. All of your information will be enclosed. What, I, if you're, you're the one that's saying charges. They said it. They said it three times. Let me give them a call back. Yes, I need to let you know that I'm uh, recording this phone call for quality assurance purposes. Okay, um, completely fine. Do you have a claim number, sir? I do. A1 84215. A1 Correct. And may I ask who I'm speaking with? Uh, John Sawyer. Okay, hold on one moment, Mr. Sawyer. Let me grab your file. <laughs>
Council here at Miller & Associates. This is Megan Leland in the Processing Department. How may I help you? Yes, were you the young lady I was just speaking to? I'm sorry, who am I speaking with? John Sawyer. Yes, sir, how can I help you? I just, you never answered my question, so I just wanted to get an answer to that question. Okay, sir. I tried to explain the charges that we're handling in our office. You refused to allow me to speak. No, I didn't refuse you, you to allow you to speak. I asked you a very specific question. You wouldn't answer the I very... I to you, sir. This is the step before court. Okay, and, and going to court implies that I'm being charged with a crime, correct? The charges, again, are inducing breach of a contract. What is that statute number? Every crime has a statute number that I can look up online. I'm asking you for the very specific statute number. What is that statute number? And Mr. Sawyer, I explained to you, if you want the statute number, you would need to wait for the private locator to present you with your documents. Uh, you should have that information handy. You're the one that's claiming that I'm being charged. So... Okay, Mr. Sawyer, do you want to go back and forth or do you want me to assist you? I want you to answer my question. You haven't answered the question. Several times. Is there no, you haven't. I've asked a very specific question that requires a very specific answer. The statute number of the crime that I am accused of being committed. It's a very simple answer. It's a very simple question. Sawyer, again, I'll explain it again. You would need to wait for the private locator to contact you, verify an address with them. Receive your documents. Break the seal on your documents. All information will be enclosed. Well, I'm asking you. You are the one I'm talking to right now. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, my name is John Sawyer, yeah. and just to let you know, this phone call is being recorded for quality assurance purposes. Um, I just got a message from my parents that you called them. I don't know anything about it, honey. So, what can I what can I do to stop the phone harassing phone calls to my parents? Um, and nobody dialed out from this number, so I don't... Um, yeah, somebody dialed from that number. Let's not play games. I know this little games that you guys, you build collectors pay. You bought a debt from somebody, and now you're trying to collect on it. So let's not play this game. Let's just, let's be honest with each other. Honey, honey, shut your mouth. I'm telling you right Don't now, tell me to shut my mouth. Don't tell me to shut my mouth. Yes, Gabby. Um, someone just was very rude to me um, from your company and told me to shut my mouth and then hung up on me. So I don't appreciate that. I'm calling to stop the harassing phone calls to my parents. They they just called me and told me that they received another phone call. We can do something about that. Okay. Do you have a claim number I can reference, sir? Yeah. A is an Apple. One eight four two one five. And before we go any further, I am going to let you know that I am recording this phone call for quality assurance purposes. Okay, one moment. Florida has a lot.
Court. Thanks for calling Capitol Harris Millen Associates. This is Megan Leland in the Processing Department. How may I help you? Yes, I really need you guys to stop harassing my, my parents. They had nothing to do with the original loan that you guys bought, so... Um, okay, I'm speaking with Mr. Sawyer. Yes, you are. Before I can release any details, again, the last four of your social is 7835. Yep. Okay, we do not make any outbound calls here. Um, well, then you need to talk to the people that you contract to do that with and tell them to stop calling my parents. My parents That's live my parents live across the United States. And I do not, understand. Not only that, but not only that, but they ha they had nothing to do with the original loan. Okay. Well, Mr. Sawyer, the person that's contacting you is a private locator. They do not work for our job. Sorry. Well, then you contract them to locate me. So therefore, Sawyer, you, they work the for you. Only any further action will be stopped is if you resolve voluntarily with our firm. You are stating that you would rather be presented with documents instead of resolving voluntarily, correct? No, you bought you bought this debt from some other company. So you're trying to collect on a debt that, that I never contracted with you guys originally. Let me tell you that um, this is John's wife, and we live in Florida, and I can tell you right now that um, Florida protects debtors very, very much, and there's many, many laws because um, I've looked them all up. You're based out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, but I'm You're just telling you. Yeah, and, 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 and you can't use your mob-like tactics to collect a debt. You just not can't. Not in Florida, you can't. And Sorry. furthermore, We're John not, is again, filing you bankruptcy. You guys over me. There's no way I can explain anything. Well, there's, there's, there's nothing to explain. explain. First of all, you tell me that I'm being charged with a crime, and you can't tell me the statute of the crime that I'm being charged with, then, Sir, you know... moving forward, how can I assist you? How can... Stop calling my parents. You guys are yes. calling my parents. Again, you guys. I explain to you. You can try, you can try, you can try bullshitting me all you want, but you can't bullshit me. I know the, what you guys do. Okay, you contract with a private locator, quote unquote, to find me to try to collect a debt, which is a total, no, which is a total yeah. lie. Then why did my parents give me this number from the person that called them to give to okay. me? You explain yeah, that to me. How can I answer you if you continue to speak? I'm, I'm asking the question. No, okay, no, now allow me to speak. The private locator that's contacting you leave our number as a courtesy. We're the firm that's handling the charges that are against you. Again, the charges are inducing breach of a contract. And what You're statute is that breaking? So what is the phone number for the firm? Because the fact is they are they're breaking contacting the firm. They're, they're breaking the private the locator firm. What, 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 uh, what is their number? They're breaking Florida laws. You guys are both speaking at the same time. Well, I'm speaking. Okay. Let, me, let me handle it. Go I know all about it. What is, the num what is the number to the private locator firm? We do not have any contact with the private locator. So you contract to them so they work for you? We are based out of Chicago, Illinois. That private locator is in your area. We no, no, no it's not in my area because... My first of all, my stepfather said that it had a Maine number on it. I'm not in Maine. You spoof the number. Come on. I know what you guys do. I read all about you on online. I looked you up. So the only thing I can suggest is that you wait for the private locator to contact you back. Verify the private locator hasn't contacted me at all. Okay, sir. You will need to verify your address with them. They'll present you with the, the document. The private locator sir. hasn't contacted me at all. What part of that do you not understand, ma'am? Okay, sir. They will contact you. They haven't verify contacted me. They've called my parents two days in a row. I don't want message. them to contact my is parents anymore. They can... work for you, so therefore you can tell them not to contact my parents. Okay, sir. The only thing I can suggest is that you make yourself available, receive your documents, so you can possibly appear in court for the charges. What Hello? charges? Thank you for calling Capitol Harris Miller and Associates. This is Camille Stewart. I'm at 60 today. Yes, this is in reference to A184215. Okay, hold on one moment. You said A 
Where? John Sawyer, and just to let you know, I am recording this phone call. That's completely fine. Hold on one moment, sir. Okay, Mr. Sawyer. Yeah? Yes, sir. Your case manager is um, on another call. How may I sit you today? Well, I want to know what, what statute number I'm being charged with breaking. Before I can release the details of the claim or discuss any details, I need to assure you are, in fact, the responsible party. Is the last four of your social verified in 7835? Yep. Okay, Mr. Sawyer, and you are aware of the charges against you, correct? What are the charges? What's the statute that I'm being charged with Charge breaking? Charge for inducing breach of a contract. What statute number is that in the criminal or civil law? Inducing breach of a contract, sir. Are you not aware of that? What the, every law has a statute number. So what law am I in charge of? I'm gonna place you on another hold and um, get your case manager on the line because we've already discussed the details of this with your case manager, so she's more familiar with it. I I asked her that question. She's not able to answer that question. <laughs> Capital here at Smolin Associates. This is Megan Leland in the processing department. How may I help you? Yes, I need you to stop calling my parents, plain and simple. I know, you know, and if you say it's not you guys, but then you contract with somebody to locate me, so therefore, you know, you need to let them know to stop because okay. it's illegal. Mr. Sawyer. I've spoke to you maybe five times, and I've explained the same thing to you over and over and over. And I know you're lying through your friggin' teeth, so... Okay, if there's nothing else I can assist you with, sir... I, I want to know the statute call. number of the law that I am breaking to be charged criminally or civilly. Sir, what you would need to do is wait for the private locator to present... The private you. locator is Hello? not finding me. This is Megan Leland. How can I assist you? I want. I would like your address, your your company's address, and the address of the company you contract to locate me. Okay, Mr. Sawyer. Again, we do not give out our physical address to the security purposes. Is there? No, I'm asking for your address so I can write you a letter, so that. And again, I'm explaining. We do not give out our physical address due to security purposes. No, then you're breaching the law. You're in breach of the law, and you are you are supposedly a law firm. You're contacting a pre-litigation firm. Yeah, exactly, and I need your address to write you a letter to tell you to stop contacting my parents. Okay, sir. We don't make outbound calls here. I've explained that to you before. That so would then I need the address of the company that does, so I can write them a letter. We have no contact with a private locator. Is there anything else I can assist you? So with? why don't you have any contact with a private locator if you subcontract the work to them to have locate me? Have a great me? day, Mr. Sawyer. I'm asking you a question.